Hello, everybody. Welcome to Friday live stream. So we got a lot of things to go over. So let's just jump right in. Uh, first things first, uh, we are going to be doing the Tangem giveaway. And uh, we talked about this yesterday, especially with what was going on, everything with Ledger. Looks like they fixed it. Uh, but uh, again, just wait 24 hours since the time of the fix. And also do me a favor and uh, clear out all the cookies of your browser. Because apparently that might be an issue. Uh, but regardless, the Tangem giveaway will be at the end of the video. And if you don't know what that is, uh, we just said, hey, there was a tweet that I put out and I said, uh, if you want to win uh, five Tangem wallets, I'll be giving away five to uh, five lucky people. Just follow me, follow Tangem, repost the post, and then we're going to pick it uh, live. And that will be today. So if you don't know, Tangem is my personal favorite as far as like wallets go. I have a Ledger, a Ledger, a Tangem, and an LAPAL. But this right here is super easy, very easy to use. Hasn't had any issues. And a lot of the the inner turmoil I think that uh, Ledger has, but I still have a Ledger, I still use it, so whatever. But uh, again, if you wanna get into that, I put a link in the description. So if you wanna go over Twitter real quick and uh, redo that, then go right ahead, but uh, you got probably about 10 minutes. So we have that, but this is the story, bonk. And I just wanna tell you from the get-go that I sold. And uh, it's not because I don't like believe in bonk, and I think bonk's gonna be fantastic. Maybe it'll change the world. Maybe it'll be a new reserve currency, no idea. But uh, things a little bit heated, I'm gonna tell you why I did it and how much roughly, and uh, we're gonna go from there. So now I'm not a person to you know jump on early like I just got in a couple of days ago. This was actually a, a tweet that I put out and this was on uh, November 28th. Not too long ago, honestly. I said, hey, Bonk will be a top 100 coin. You can fight it or just accept it, disclaimer. I bought Bonk previously, beginning of November. It sits perfectly next to my Doge bag, <laughs> which is kind of funny. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are like, hey, that's great. But some people are like, that's ridiculous because Doge is stupid. I mean, uh, I was getting confused. Bonk is stupid. And, uh, you know, why are you, why are you trying to dump me, Rob? All right, whatever. So taking a look at the charts, I'm not a big chartologist, but uh, it was pretty flat for quite some time, you know, 5th, 4th, 3rd of November. Then it's kind of went parabolic. Does that mean because I knew something and I knew it was going to go up? No, nobody does. I mean, we think we do, but uh, no one knows for sure. Just, hey, that's just how it actually happened. And uh, if I always just kind of looked at Bonk as like, I feel like Bonk is a Dogecoin of this cycle, quite honestly. Uh, it's just built on Solana. And uh, when, I was, when I was taking a look at Solana and how I got back into that earlier in the year, and I thought to myself, well, Solana is doing really fantastic. Uh, maybe the ecosystem will do pretty good. And then, of course, when I took a look at, uh, you know, one of my favorite uh, DEXs here, Orca, if you want to kind of look at that and see, like, you know, what is going on in the Cardano ecosystem, I mean, there's some pretty good stuff, like Helium Network and, uh, well, Orca, of course, um, Mobile, uh, Helium Mobile. If you look those up, they're like, 35, 60% for the week or something like that. Rollbit, which is uh, one of Guy's plays over at uh, Coin Bureau. And that's uh, Gamblefy Star Atlas, which is uh, uh, essentially one of those AAA rated uh, Web3 games. And the list goes on and on. Now, not all these are winners, but when I, take, when I took a look at Bonk, I'm like, well, that makes sense because it's just a meme coin. So we could do pretty well. So with that one, there was some unintended, not consequences, but outcomes. And this is a, a tweet from Cadence, and he says, Bonk helped save Solana December 2022. Bonk helped save Solana Mobile December 2023. And it, it hit me because I, I had heard this story from actually my friend Steven right here. Uh, when we did the meetup, he said, hey, you know, the story behind uh, uh, Bonk was it came out around December 2022, which right was when, you know, Solana took a big, huge dump, uh, especially with uh, FTX. And of course, everybody labeled that as the as the Sam Bankman Freed coin. And so everybody kind of deserted it. Now, it actually, Solana actually went down to nine bucks, but around this time is when Bonk launched and it really did save. I don't know if it's saved, but it really helped to buoy uh, Solana. And I'll remind you at this point, like you're like, yeah, 13 bucks, not so bad. It's only at $76 today. But as a quick reminder, if we max out uh, at the peak, the Solana was like 250. That was quite a heck of a dump, but it is what it is. So there's that piece. And then of course, there's this part about the phone. 
the saga phone. And this was actually ridiculed by a lot of people. They said that was kind of ridiculous. Why would you put a phone out? And they did it and they actually delivered, which a lot of people thought they would not. I remember watching a video from Charles Hoskinson, as a matter of fact. And he was like, why would you do that? You have to compete against Apple and Android. That makes no sense. Well, they did it. And uh, it actually had a quite a turbulent launch, but thanks to Bonk, <laughs> it actually did pretty well. Solana Mobile sales soaring 10X in the last 48 hours as Bonk available to claim with the phone are now worth more than the phone itself. And again, this is why like I preach diversify because you never know what's gonna happen in crypto. This is insane if you really think about it. This is why you put things around because you never know. Like, you know, that's, I mean, a hundred bucks in Bonk six months ago, you're practically a millionaire. Now nah, do the math for me in the comment section, but I mean, it's pretty crazy. So if you wanna buy the phone right now, I don't think you really can. Somebody says, you know, 20,000 can claim the 30 million bonk. And it looks like that may have already been maxed out. Um, this is from Solana Mobile. And they said, wow, what a day. This was at, uh, this was this morning at two in the morning. They said, we've officially sold out of Saga phones in the US. Huge thanks to everyone who's been part of this journey. To our friends in Europe, we've still got a few left for you. So. I don't know if this is actually happening and if you can still get bonk, but it was 20,000. I think it may be too late, but correct me in the comment section. I kind of lost interest when it said no phones in the US. Sorry, sorry, I'm kind of a homer. And there's that piece. So the whole thing was, well, what's the big deal? The big deal was that there was an announcement in June, they were gonna airdrop 30 million bonk, exclusively to those who download the bonk app, the Saga phone store, I guess. The value of the airdrop was peanuts before because Bonk wasn't worth anything. Now it's worth $926, exceeding the phone selling price of $599. And then there's this, I wish I would have linked this. There's a great video of this gentleman who he didn't know if he was going to actually be able to have this uh, airdrop. So he unboxed it. He went through the whole thing and he got like $600 worth of, worth of Bonk or 575, I think it was actually. And uh, he was really excited and good for, I mean, good for this guy, great, right? He got a phone for free, that's awesome. And he's like, now I don't have to lie to my wife, which is pretty funny. But at the very end of the video, he says something not concerning, but just kind of like the normal mentality, which is this, he's like, this is awesome, but am I gonna sell? Nope, I'm holding this until it goes, whatever he said, 10X or 20X, I always forget. But he was very adamant and I gotta respect him for that. We'll see. So there is that piece. And before we get to why I sold, and of course, you know, what it all means, just remember that I have these five rules for a reason. I don't do this so I can wait my, waste my breath. This is because of all the different trials and tribulations that we've all gone through. One, it's all gone. Don't invest more than you can afford to lose. Two, 100% scams. Everything is a scam until proven otherwise. This would have saved your ass with Ledger. 0% exchanges. Don't use exchanges. Don't leave anything on exchanges. Take them off and put in a cold storage devices. Again, also diversify like we talked about. I use an Alipal, a Ledger, and a Tangent. Don't use leverage. If you want to get wrecked, you can use two to three, I guess. I mean, that's not a big deal. When we go to 50, 100, actually, you're just asking for trouble. And the last one is take profit. This is paramount. I don't have to explain it to you guys because you guys are pros. But I'm going to have a real hard time when we get a bunch of the uh, tourists in, which are going to, they're coming, they're coming fast. And they're going to ridicule us. They're going to make fun of us for selling because they think they know more than us because everything's going to go to the moon. And we'll see if that plays out for them. But before I move on, I'll just say like, well, let me move on. I'm going to get off my soapbox. This is ridiculous. So I said that I feel like Bonk is the Dogecoin of this cycle. And before anybody starts to laugh, which I can understand, truly I can, because Dogecoin, when I got in, was a joke in 2017. But I just want to remind you, I want to think about your token. Think about your coin right now, whatever it is. How long has it been around? What's its utility? A guy from CoinBeard just did a great uh, short clip video, and he talked about the top five coins 10 years ago, and none of them you're going to know except for Bitcoin and Litecoin. And they all had the same type of narrative. Oh, this one's going to be better than Bitcoin. This one has faster transactions. This one is really cheap. This one has a great team. And the same thing. Those don't exist anymore. So just be aware of that. But Dogecoin, just want to take you down memory lane, is actually a fork of Lucky Coin, 
<laughs> or excuse me, excuse me, let me go the right order. Dogecoin is a fork of Lucky Coin. Lucky Coin, a fork of Litecoin. Litecoin is a fork of Bitcoin. Hope we can all understand that. So it has its roots in there, right? It was created in 2013. And actually, like last week, it was the 10 year anniversary of Dogecoin. How did Dogecoin do over 10 years? Not too bad. Because just three or four months or two or three months after it was created in January 2014, it was created in 2013 in December, I believe, it was number 16. Next year, 2015, it was number nine. 2016, January, it was number six. 2017, in January, and it moved up and down, that's true. Number, it got to 14. January 2018, when everything was collapsing, it hit 29. January 2019, it hit 24. January 2020, not a good time either. Yeah, not too bad. 31. January 2021 hit 26. But then as we get into the, when we got into the bull run, it was uh, within the top 15. And then in January 2022, it was number 12. And 1st of January 2023 is number 8. And right now it's still in the top 10. So think about that, about your coin. How long has it been around? And has it been in the top 40 for a decade? Just asking. And now let's do a little quick comparisons. Actually, let's do this. This isn't going to make any sense unless I talk about this. You say, but Rob, how can that be, be a case? Because there was a lot less money flowing in as far as market caps as opposed to right now. So let's just take four years back. 15 December of 2019, you had a market cap of Bitcoin as, as $129 billion. That was it. $129 billion. $491 million, dollars dollars $129 billion. You know what the market cap today for Bitcoin is? 822 billion. That's roughly six, six and a half X. Correct me in the comment section of my math. So let's just say six X, right? Roughly six X from here to here. Now let's go down to Dogecoin. Dogecoin had a market cap back then of 263 million, 792,000. That was Dogecoin. And then today, uh, Dogecoin, 13 billion, roughly a six, seven X, somewhere around there, 6.5. So it's the same type of thing. So when I take a look at this and I look like, I say Dogecoin is 13 billion. And we come down here to bonk and it's at eh, 1.7, probably dropped a little bit. Could it not go up like Dogecoin's done before? Yeah, maybe potentially, but here's the real thing. Take a look at this. If you dollar cost average from, to, uh, this isn't right. Let's go back to 2019, December 15, 2019. If you put in 10 bucks a day and you put into Bitcoin and Ethereum, XRP, Cardano, Avalanche, Dogecoin, Polkadot, Tron, <laughs> Chainlink, I shouldn't laugh at Tron. I mean, Tron's gonna do just fine. But if you did that, when everybody was laughing at you, because Dogecoin's a joke, right? Look at what it did over here. January, let's just go right here. You would have invested $4,000 in the Doge and you would have had $101,000. You'd have beat Cardano, Ethereum, Link, and you would have beat the pants off Bitcoin, Avalanche, Tron, XRP, and DOT. If you would have kept doing 10 bucks a, sorry, 10 bucks a day to the next big rally in April, you'd have half a million dollars. And if you would have stopped out at the very, very tippy top, you're looking at, Oh, about a million bucks. And you would have spent five grand. So just think about these things. Does that mean that you're going to make a million? No. Does that mean that it could happen? Yeah, why not? Why not? It's crypto, right? It's digital assets. Anything can happen. And because of that, I sold. I sold. Why did I sell? What are my rules? And again, these rules are for me. These rules aren't for you. You can incorporate those or not. But I had those rules because, for a specific reason, to not allow me to do the things I did before, which is ride things up, ride things down. I did pretty poorly in 2017. I did a lot better in 2021, but I could have done way better. And this one, I will not allow this to happen. I have rules in place, and I will follow those rules until the very end. Unless something radically changes, right? 
U.S. government comes out and goes, hey, Bitcoin's going to be the Federal Reserve. It's going to be the reserve currency of the world. I'll probably hold on to Bitcoin. So how much did I sell? Not all of it. I'm not crazy. Come on now. But remember when I got in? Somewhere over here? It's like a six, seven, eight X or something like that. If you're not taking some funds out, I don't know. Actually, I can't tell you what to do. I'm not your dad. I'm not a financial advisor. But I said like this, take profits, take profits, take profits. This was on today, December 15th at six in the morning. Six in the morning, or roughly it was around five o'clock actually. So it was, uh, ba, 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 it's three o'clock, 4.30, yeah, right, right, right here. Not bad, not awful, pretty good. Does that mean it can't shoot up? Yeah, it might shoot up, I don't know. But again, so I took out my initial investment and I doubled my money. I took out some little bit more as, as well as that. So everything that I have in there is not my money. It's house money. So I took the initial investment. I took a big chunk of profits and I let it ride. I don't know what's going to happen. But what I just told, told you about everything about it can be the next Dogecoin. It can really do well and all these things. I still believe in it. I still believe it could. What does it do? It's a meme coin. Hopefully it doesn't do too much. Great community. Don't 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 say it's not. But I'm not going to sit here and write it all the way up and all the way down. Could I have made a lot more money by writing all the way up to when Doge, when Bonk goes to a penny? Sure. But who knows? I am trying to mitigate my risk as things go up. And it's up to you to decide if that's for you or if you want to YOLO and let it all ride. This is my, this is my strategy. It doesn't have to be yours. And that's it. So look. I hope that uh, made a lot of sense of how much I did, why I did it, and everything else. I mean, look, all the major exchanges already listed. It's on everything. It was Binance uh, this morning. It was Coinbase days ago. It was everything else. I mean, it could probably still rip up, but uh, I've got a good amount in there. Have my profits. I'm happy. Anyway, let me tell you what you think about that in the comment section. And lastly, let's give away a tangium, right? I got to tell you, I've been using tangium now for months and months and months, and uh, I really do like it. It's it's like this, like it's so simple, right? If you can if you can have your phone and just do this, that's all you need to do to transfer the thing. It's not like using your ledger and punching these buttons and confirming and moving back, back and forth and going, man, I hope I didn't, hope I didn't uh, connect to a dApp. Just kidding. I don't think you, I honestly don't think that we should use our cold storage devices to connect to dApps and, and DAXs. And you can do it, but I just don't, I'm not going to do it. Uh, but regardless, that's not where you're here. You're here to win some free stuff. So let's see. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I haven't done this in a while, so bear with me. But I'm going to use Twitter Picker. Twitter Picker, it was a, it's a great tool. And you just put in the, uh, the tweet itself or the X post. And let's see, we're going to have five, two, three, four, five. And the criteria was follow me, follow Tangem, repost the post. All right. So you got to follow, win count five, picture, tweet count, account age, at least a month. Let's hope this works. Should work. Hey, look at that. 579 entries loaded. Smooth. Okay. And uh, we'll continue. And let's begin the drawing. Drum roll, please. Woo! Congratulations, Spencer, Zorro, Dab, More Bitcoin, Ada Penguin, Robicho. And what I'm going to do, don't try to scam me. I will be reaching out to you guys via DM. Uh, I'm going to do this actually during the Q&A. So I'm going to hide this real quick. I'll reach out to you guys via DM, and uh, I'll get your shipping information. I'll have uh, Tangem send it out. Now, if you didn't win, sorry. These things happen. But if you'd like to get a tangent, good news, I've got a link in the description. It's 10% off, and uh, they are still in stock for Christmas, but I'm pretty sure it's going fast. So link in the description. There's also a deep dive video on how to do it. And yes, to answer your question, you can now have your three cards have a mnemonic phrase if you want to back it up the old-fashioned way, or you can put the private key within the, the uh, card itself. And if that's foreign to you, don't worry. I did a video, and you can watch that in a deep dive, and that's it. So... Everybody, that's it today for the news. Like today, uh, what you saw, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Now let's get.